Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham, again. I've been designing some more origamis on the weekend. It's been pretty cold here, so this is a good time to design origamis. And these are some of the things I designed. These are drawer boxes. This is the original one. It's from three squares of paper. This actually comes out. It's based on the traditional Masu box, so it's pretty easy to make. I'll be showing you how to make this one today, but next week I'll have a video. I'll make a video for this one, this cubic version of it. So let's get started. So for the standard one we're doing today, we need three squares of paper the same size. This is dual paper. It has a nice color change on the drawer here, the handle area. We're gonna make first we're gonna make the actual drawer, which is a modified Masu box, and then we'll make this two-piece section here. I'll call this outer piece the cover. We'll make the drawer and then we'll make the cover. So for the drawer, you want to start with your square, white side, in this case it's dual paper, I want the drawer to be the pattern side, so I'm going to have that face up. And if you know how to make it, and you're going to fold it in half, both ways, like this. If you know how to make a Masu box, then this is going to be very easy for you. So we're going to take this corner and do a blintz fold, a blint space. And the blint space is basically taking the four corners and bringing them to the center, folding them to the center of the square. And now, this is why you want to make, know how to make a Masu box, because they're basically making a modified version of it. We're going to take this edge and fold it to the center, like that. Rotate and fold this edge to the center, so the sides to the middle. Unfold, and rotate so these, then we're going to do the other way. So fold the sides to the center, right where those four corners meet. Rotate. Pretty easy stuff. So this is just like a Masu box. And from here you would basically, to make a Masu box, you'd unfold here, fold these in, and then kind of take these, fold them up, and then fold this down on both sides and in. But we're going to make the drawer, so we're going to do it a bit different. Now we're going to flip this, hold it like this, flip it over, to this corner and fold it to the middle. There should be a crease already there. Now we're going to take this mountain, this crease here, and Bring this up to the edge like this, just like that. And now we're going to take this corner, fold it up, bring this raw edge right down to this folded edge here. This will be the little handle or the, the little knob, this part right here, to open the drawer. And this is very similar to the one I'm going to do next week, so um, the next one, the cubic version is not much higher. And now we're going to take, you can see we have creases here and here on this blue section. We're going to fold this down in between those two creases. Just like that. This uh, little knob, you can see it goes pretty much to there. Even if it doesn't quite go to the end, that's fine. But just close. And now, this is just like a Masu. We're going to now unfold this corner, this corner, and fold this up on the existing crease. Crease all the way through. Now we're going to take, there's a valley fold that should already be here, and you just go like this and fold this up like that. This is just like a Masu box, and you're going to fold this down and inside. And same here. Um, here's our valley fold. From this side, it's a mountain fold, and you just fold it in, just like a Masu box, and then fold this down inside itself. And there's the front of the drawer right here. And now, just like on the Masu box again, we're going to bring these, there should be creases here already, bring this in, and fold this down. Uh, actual Masu box, you essentially would kind of do that on all four sides, are the same. But this one, we modified the one side to make the handle of the drawer. So the drawer is now complete. And now for the cover, or the outer box here, that it slides in and out of, um, we're going to need two squares of paper, and again, it's very similar to the Masu box, again, because we're going to use the blint space. And this time, since I don't want to have any additional creases on the outside of the finished box, when we fold this, we can go diagonally or, or this way. I don't know where that came from on the paper there, but we can, we'll just go like this. And we're only going to pinch right about the center, we'll unfold and then go the other way, and only pinch the middle. You can crease all the way through, but it's not necessary because just have extra creases. Now we're going to blintz fold these corners to that middle point. Just like the first part. And this will, there's two different types of modules that we're going to use for the cover, a top and a bottom. 
this one will be the top. So now we're going to fold this to the center again, just like on the Massey box, on the drawer. On the drawer section that we made already. So this is it here. And Just make sure you crease it nice and sharply. Now we're going to unfold here, unfold here, unfold here, and we're going to leave this one folded. We're going to take this corner, and you see there's a mountain crease, we're going to reverse it. So actually this tip will actually hit this crease here. And now we're going to fold up on this crease right here, just on existing creases. And now we're going to fold on these creases here, making the sides and now this will be the top so now what we're going to do with this corner here is we're going to make a new crease a valley fold just by taking it like this and bringing these two edges together and creasing sharply same here we just bring these two edges together and make a valley fold right there and that is the top of our cover so when we're finished, there'll be a bottom and then it'll fit in like that. So that's the top. So we'll set the top and the drawer aside. And now to make the bottom of the cover, we're going to do the same thing. Fold either diagonally or this way, only pinching the middle. Blintz fold. The first folds of the bottom are the same as the top for the cover section. Okay. Fold to the center, fold to the center, make sure you do this nice and accurately, nice and do this well so that you have a nice box at the end, you'll get a nice box. Rotate, fold to the center. This is the bottom of the cover. Now we're going to unfold again, unfold this one, leave this one folded like that. Again, we're going to fold this in on this crease, reversing that crease. It should hit this crease. And then on this crease here, we're going to fold this up, and this edge will hit this crease here, just like on the first one. Now we're going to fold the sides in again on the existing crease, just reinforce those creases. And now for the bottom, we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to take this crease here, we're going to make a valley fold that's diagonal, and we're going to, by bringing this crease here to this edge here, so folding this up, you can see how, and we're only creasing from this point to the edge. We're not creasing this side, just this side. You can see how this crease is lined up with that. Unfold that, same here. Fold this up. And you can see we have this crease here, but we're leaving this part here untouched. And this crease lines up with that. And now we're going to do the same on this side, kind of fold it up, and we can just take this, reverse these creases here. And that is the bottom of our cover. So now we're almost done. Now we just have to put it together. This is fairly easy to do. These are tabs. These will be tabs. These are pockets. So the bottom piece, the tabs on the bottom section, will go into the pockets of the top section. And we're going to make sure that we're going to actually leave the top section unfolded on this side. We're not going to worry about this side right now. So just like this, I'm going to take the bottom and tuck it in under this flap here. This side here will not, will just sit like that. And then this is the bottom, this is the top, this is the pocket, this is the tab. Tab, pocket. Tuck the tab of the bottom piece into the pocket of the top piece. And now, what we're going to do here is we're going to just fold this down on these creases, just fold that in. And we're going to kind of do an envelope lock here, like you might have seen on some other ones, like the Matchbox or other ones. And then we're going to take this tab and tuck it into here. And you can go inside here, in there, and just push down on everything. And that is the cover. It's complete now. And so now we can take our box, our drawer, and it's a, and this is the bottom. You can see these creases, these edges here. So I like to have this as the top. Looks nicer. And now it's a little bit snug, but we'll just gently insert the drawer into 
the cover into the outer cover of the outer box and now open it up and you can put something inside and so I hope you're able to make that it wasn't that hard to make and there you could glue these together if you wanted make a bunch of them and make a whole little organizer thing or just use them individually as gift boxes or whatever so I hope you're able to make that. It was pretty easy. And remember, next week I will be putting on a video. I'll be uploading a video for this one here, this cubic version. This one only needs two squares. This one used three. But I hope you like that. And please rate, comment, and subscribe.